Hello everybody, it's Jen Scrapping of Creations. Welcome back to another Not Too Shabby Design Team project. Today I'm featuring Lawn Fawn Let's Toast and the Pull Tab Add-on Die. I absolutely adore this stamp set and this Pull Tab Add-on is a lot of fun to make interactive cards, which I don't do a lot of but I really did enjoy putting this card together. So I'm starting off with the coloring. So I'm going to do the crust of the bread and the avocado pit in E23, E33, E53, and E51. I think I might have left out the E51 for the avocado pit and just did a three color blend. So I want my bread here to actually look like toast. So I want the edges of it to be a little bit more of a darker brown color than the inside. I don't know about you, but I like my toast lightly toasted, not a fan of a dark toast or burnt toast. For the pop tart, I'm going to do the pastry part in a very light color combination. I'm using E53 and E51. It's such a small area you can get away with a two color blend. I want my toaster to be a silver color or a stainless steel color, so I just went ahead in with my C1 and wet the paper. Now I'm coming in with my darkest marker. I'm using C7 for that, and I'm just drawing in my darkest shadows. I do want the toaster to look a little bit rounded, so I'm making sure to add some of that dark highlight to either side of the toaster. Of course, the little feet would be darkest because it would be underneath the toaster. And then where that little lip is would also have a darker shadow. So now I'm going over with the C5 and I'm just going to pull that color out. I want to make sure the slots in the toasters are a little bit darker. Just so you can tell that they're kind of sunken in. I am going to go over this a couple times here with the C5 just to blend into the C seven. Then I'm going to come in with my C3 marker. So I want to make sure that there's a lot of lighter color here because I don't want the toaster to look black. I do want it to look more of a silver color. So I sped this up quite a bit. This toaster is a bit of a larger image. So just really blending those colors together. I'm coming in with the C1 now and I'm actually going over the darkest areas as well to pull that color out so I get more of a smooth blend. So leaving that highlight in the very center of the toaster and you'll see as I continue coloring that that color will uh, fade back quite a bit and blend nicely. So I'm going to color the knife stainless steel as well and I thought I'd go ahead and do the butter dish to match just so there was some consistency in the card. So very very sparingly using the darkest colors for those two items. I don't want them to look black. And now I'm moving on to the avocado. So for the outside I'm using YG99, YG97, and YG95. So that's going to give me that Kind of dark olivey color of this skin. I'm going to bring in some brighter greens for the inside. So my darkest is going to be YG17. Then I'm going to blend that out with the YG03 and my lightest highlight shade will be the YG01. And I think that's the perfect color combination for an avocado. After I get that complete, I am going to work on our butter. So I'm using Y15, Y13, and Y11. I'm just coming in with the Y15 right now, marking out where I want the darkest areas to be. I'm going to blend that out with the Y11, and then of course finish off with the Y, sorry, the Y13, and then the Y11, which is my lightest shade. So it just gives a little bit of highlight on the butter. For the Pop-Tart, I wanted to do it in a pink color, so I'm grabbing out my favorite pink color combination. I'm using R85, R83, and R81. So this will be a strawberry or cherry Pop-Tart. This will match the paper that I'm going to be using. So the pattern paper is uh, Sunny Studio Rainbow Bright. Just 
pulled that out of my stash. I did purchase this at Not Too Shabby, but I don't believe Jamie has it anymore. So here is my first time using the pull tab add-on. So I have the pull tab parts, and here's some purple tape that I was able to get my hands on at Creativation, which was really exciting. This is the new quarter inch tape. So I'm just looking at this, I'm eyeballing it. If you are really particular and want things perfectly centered, you can go ahead and measure it. I was fine with just taking my chances. So I do a lot of placing the elements on the card to make sure that I'm going to get this in the right place. So you wanna take a pencil and mark the very top of your toaster, and then you take this little straight piece here and you line that up to where the top of the toaster will be. So just checking that to make sure I had it straight. I'm going to erase my pencil marks so that you can't see it once the card is together, and then I'm going to work on putting together the pull tab piece. So there are already scored lines when you die cut out this particular part of the add-on die. So I'm just folding in and then folding out so that the top piece can easily fit our piece of toast. And I'm just using my Teflon bone folder here to make sure it has a really nice crease. So now that I have this done, I'm going to add this onto the piece of paper that has my slit in it. I'm making sure that it is going to work. And then I'm going to add my piece of toast. So I'm using some Tombow extreme adhesive here. The toast will not move off this once I get it down. I wanted to make sure that I had it aligned perfectly with the top part of the toast because I knew the bottom wouldn't come all the way out of the toaster. So if it's a little off, I'd rather it be off on the bottom than on the top. So now I'm adding this little piece here which holds the slider portion into place. So I just cut these pieces out of 110 pound cardstock. You want to fold that over and then add adhesive to that final top piece. And again, I'm going to use my extreme adhesive here to make sure that it can withstand lots of pulling. So I'm going to get that into place. And again, I'm making sure that this is going to move and then I want to adhere that down to my panel here or my piece of pattern paper. So now the mechanism for the pull tab is working. I just wanna make sure that I trim off that pull tab to the top of that piece of paper. And I cut out the little pull tab notch with the heart piece of paper that I'm using for the back of my card. I thought the green would be nice to go with the avocado just to bring that color in a little bit more. So I'm ad adhering this on and I realized that my fold isn't going all the way down and I didn't want there to be a gap with white uh, cardstock so I'm just going to refold that so that it fits perfectly and then I'll use my bone folder and you'll never know that I didn't get it quite right the first time. So I'm going to adhere my background panel right onto my card base. So this is an A2 size card at four and a quarter by five and a half. I did cut that out with a scalloped rectangle die. And I added my top piece of paper here, the focal element. I added some foam tape to that. Got that down securely. I'm pulling my toast again just to make sure it's going to work. And then I'm going to add the rest of my elements. Because I did fussy cut these right to the line, I'm using my Memento black marker just to outline it. This will hide any imperfections in your cutting. And it really does make a difference. I know when I first started card making, I never did that. And now that I have that marker, I love the way it gives a finish to your cut out images. So I'm adding some foam squares here and I wanna make sure that it does not get in the way of the toast. Again, just making sure. And I realized here that I forgot to cut my slit in the toaster. So my toast can't pop out of my toaster if I don't put the holes in it. So the die comes in the add-on set. So you just simply pull that off and I did rip my image a little bit. I was not happy, but I was able to glue that back down. 
fix that up and now I'm going to add my foam squares back on. I am just going to add a little bit of glue because I did pull them up once already and I want to make sure that they stay once I adhere them. So now I can slide my little toast into the toaster. I had a little trouble with that but it was just because my foam squares were moving. And I'm going to see where I want it and then I'm going to adhere this down. And then I'll finish up by adding the rest of the elements to my card. I played with this quite a bit to make sure that I had it right. So in front of the toaster, I'm going to add a piece of toast, the avocado, and the butter dish. I just kind of want them sitting in front of the toaster. And adhere that on with some liquid glue. Had a little bit of trouble picking up that avocado piece. But I really like how that pop of green in the center really picks up on the patterned paper. I am going to add a little piece of butter to the toast and I'm going to add the little knife and that will balance out the silver nicely into a triangle. So there's the toaster, the butter dish to the right hand side and then the knife to the left hand side giving it a really good balance. I'm going to add our little butter here, which is so cute. And then I'm going to work on this sentiment. So I'm using the sentiment, you are the avocado to my toast. I didn't quite know how I wanted to put this on, so I just decided to stamp it onto some white cardstock, and then it would pick up with the white card base. So I'm just going to use my VersaFine here. I didn't like the way that that stamped the first time. It was a little bit... I don't know, I guess I moved my hand, so I'm just going to stamp that again. And then I'm going to stamp the your. And I actually decided just to stamp that near the bottom, and I'll cut those two pieces out separately. So just going to trim those up quickly. And then I'm going to adhere that right on to that card panel above my little toaster. So when you pull the pull tab, the toast will come up over the sentiment, which I think is kind of fun. I'm just making sure I get that straight. So I just want to use my stamp block here to really press that down so it doesn't move. And there we go. There's our toast and there's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you really soon in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.